one thing that it was you and me. Hello everyone, my name is Naima and welcome back to my channel or two if you are new and today is Friday which means it is time for another recommendation video. Today's recommendation video is going to be the It's Always Been You trope. I saw that Jess from Peace of Books recently did this video so I will have her video linked down below. This is one of my favorite tropes so I'm excited to share some of my favorites with you guys. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first book that I am recommending is Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. I absolutely adore this book. This book follows August and Iris. August is in college and he is a really um, well-known basketball player for his team. He's very good. And he's planning on going to the NBA after graduation. It starts off with August going into his last game. It's the night before and he decides to go out to eat at a restaurant and there he sees Iris. Iris is sitting at the bar screaming at the television watching a football game and he is instantly kind of captured by her. He wants to get to know her and talk to her so he decides to sit down. They have a really good conversation. They talk for hours and hours and hours and he's obviously like feeling some type of way about her so when he goes in for the kiss at the end of the night she's like what are you doing? I have a boyfriend. Please stop. And he's kind of just like shocked and confused and he just accepts that. And he's like, okay, you have a boyfriend. It's time to move on. So basically the next day at the game, August sees Iris there and her boyfriend is his arch nemesis and they hate each other. They really dislike each other. So basically that's like the set for the story. Um, her boyfriend is going to play in the NBA as well and then so is August. This book is definitely a case of right person wrong time. Throughout the book you see them meet up again. There are some crazy things in here and trigger warnings. There are trigger warnings for domestic abuse but their chemistry is just so electric and so amazing. I just love this book and if you like right person wrong time and keep meeting up and it's never the right time then you need to read this book. It's so amazing. I love it and I think you will too. So the next book that I'm going to recommend for this trope is Cool Prince by A. Jade and I absolutely love this book. It is so good. So I love this whole entire series. I own the last book in the series only so I need to get the other books but this series is so amazing and so much fun. This is a new adult and bully romance. It takes place in high school and then also college. So basically this book follows Jace and Dylan. Dylan is our heroine and Jace is our hero. Dylan and Jace are best friends since childhood. They've grown up together. They love each other and they're just best friends. They are able to connect on a level that many people their age aren't, can't really connect on. Both have shared traumas and shared loss. So it's really great. Their friendship is amazing. And then in a blink of an eye one day, Dylan, the heroine, is gone. And a few years later, four years later to be exact, she comes back to town and not everything is how she left it. Jace, her best friend, now hates her and something is going on and she doesn't understand what. She's moving back into a house with her aunt and uncle and her step cousin. Her step cousin is actually Jace's best friend. So things get super interesting. It's super twisty and amazing. There are trigger warnings in here for suicide and loss of loved ones. And this book is so heartbreaking and angsty and it took me on a journey. Let me tell you, I was crying tears. I was crying tears. It was so good. Next book that I have is It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole and this is such an amazing book. This is actually a MC club romance so if you like that pick this up. First of all I'm not sure if MC romances are really my thing but I really did love my time with this book. MC romances just give me a weird vibe but this was lots of fun. So this book follows May and Styx and May is actually in a cult. May is a young girl who just escapes a cult. She's been in this cult her entire life. She has sisters who are in the cult and all she's ever known is this cult. So when she was a little girl, she was by the gates of the cult. And a little boy comes up to the gate of this cult and that little boy is Styx, the hero of this book. And Styx is actually the leader of this MC club. When he was younger and met May, his dad was and they were out in the woods doing some type of business -y thing. And so only Styx saw May and only May saw Styx. Styx obviously sees this little girl in a white dress and he's like, am I dreaming? Is this real? They kind of talk for a minute and then they go about their business, whatever. And they have always stayed on each other's minds because it's just so bizarre there's this girl in the middle of the woods in a white dress she's behind a gate so that's just always been something 
that stuck with him. He tried to tell his dad about it, but his dad's like, what are you, like, let's go, like, stop messing around. And so years go by and May actually escapes the cult and she is taken to an MC club, not intentionally, but basically um, she escapes and gets hitchhiked and then she gets dumped by this MC club and um Styx is the leader of the MC club like I mentioned and they meet up again and obviously it's really cool because she has never been in like a real civilization she's been in this cult she's learned that things are supposed to go this way but um she's relearning everything and finding out what things are and um being honest coming from a cult to a motorcycle club is just like not ideal in a way so this book is definitely amazing it takes you on a ride there's also a little element of like a, a tiny 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 element of a love triangle like that i think you would enjoy this book and i love it the next book is a pretty popular one that i'm sure all of you have heard of but i love this book for this trope and that is corrupt by penelope douglas i adore this series this is book one in the devil's night series and the first one corrupt follows so basically our heroine is frika or erica and our hero is michael and they both come from very wealthy influential families and basically Erica has always been promised Michael's younger brother. That is never who she really wanted. She always was intrigued and interested in Michael, the older brother. Michael is a part of a friend group called the Four Horsemen, and basically they are kind of known to cause lots of trouble, especially on a specific night, which is Devil's Night. And they kind of just run about town. They throw parties, and they're all super rich and super, you know, have sway over this town. So um, what they say goes. And so Erica is 16 years old, and she's in class and it is devil's night so that means um the four horsemen come to the school and pull a bunch of kids and they go and party that sounds kind of weird but like trust me it's fine erica she sneaks into one of these cars and goes to devil's night and michael sees her and um, she goes on like this huge adventure that night with all these people. It flashes back from past and present in the book from that night of Devil's Night and then Devil's Night years later. And so I don't really know what's going on or why all these four horsemen hate Erica. But after that night, they all hate Erica for some reason and they want to get revenge. And so there are some crazy plot twists in here. And the it's always been you aspect comes from the fact that Erica has been pining for Michael for as long as she can remember and she's always just been promised to his younger brother but 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 things do take a turn and this book is one of my favorites and the last book that i will be recommending for this video is brooklyn air by serena bowen i love this book so much i really want to get into the other books in the series this one can be read as a standalone i read it as a standalone so obviously it makes sense but basically it's just like this professional hockey team that's what the series follows and this book follows the owner of this hockey team and so this romance follows the assistant and the owner of the hockey team the assistant has been with the boss for for a very long time for seven years i think it is and she's been with him from the very beginning where he didn't have any money where he was in like a shoebox office with other people and i'm pretty sure he starts off as like a technology tech mogul and then once he got really rich he decided to buy the team and so this is another book that has that's always been a case of right person wrong time um she kind of has this resentment towards him but they're also really good friends and they've been in each other's lives and they help each other whenever they are in need she kind of holds this resentment over him because she was once his assistant and then next thing you know she he sticks her in like an office job somewhere like across town and um she just isn't very happy with that because she's like what did i do wrong i thought we were friends but you know they still continue to work together and and yeah like i said this is another case of right person wrong time there's always been something in the way when they were super close to hitting that point of like no return where they realize that they love each other but things just keep popping up in their way so um this one was really fun obviously they've been in each other's lives for a very long time their friendship is off the hook like they have just been there for each other in ways that other people couldn't and it's such an amazing book i love this one it follows a boss assistant type of relationship and then also you have this billionaire and it's just so fun I love this book and I think you will too if you like this trope and also a little bit of a sports romance thrown in there just a tiny bit. That is the last book that I'll be recommending for It's Always Been You. I love this trope like I said. If you have any other tropes that you would like me to make recommendation videos on let me know down below. I'd be happy to make them for you guys and that is all. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a big like and a comment down below. And then also subscribe and turn on post notifications. It truly helps to support me and my channel. And for now, that is all. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with another video. Bye. If I got one thing right, it was you and me.